YD28 and welcome back to my channel with the Sims 4 get to work let's play and it is part 12 now I believe and we just had baby Zenin and I went ahead and decorated the room a little bit and made some changes so I moved Matthew down to the basement for now and uh, as time goes on then we'll see maybe Glenn and Mallory will be in a room together and Gene and Matthew together and Zenin can be in his own little space in the basement uh, either way, for sure, Zenon will move into the basement when he is a child, and Matthew will come back up here. But for now, Matthew's in the basement, and I'll show you his room in a second. But I just did this. I threw up these, uh, these rugs. These came with Get to Work. Uh, the hover lamp is in here, and I want to turn it on. And I threw up these posters of, uh, a spaceship. And I put these blinds up here because I don't want people staring in to the room the whole time and seeing the baby. Uh, especially because it's an alien baby and uh, this things. So let's go downstairs quick and we'll show you. Boom. So I just did nothing too, too special. <laughs> just threw the wall in, uh, put some wood, his bed, and threw his stuff down here. So yeah, and I moved those things over. So yeah, that is that. And do I have a light down here? Yeah, it's right here. Um, so... Moving on, what I also went ahead and did was Miss Mallory took out a loan from the bank, uh, a small, small loan, to decorate her and build her retail store. So it's actually all set up and ready to go. And it is 4 p.m., but I figured we'll go anyways. But before we go, I want Miss Jean, who is in her alien form right now, to... Um, show herself to Matthew and kind of get that going. So we're going to reveal our deep secret that we are an alien and hope that we do, hope that everything goes well. I have flu schmizzle. Ah, LaRue! Karenzi. Matthew has discovered that she's an alien. But he's confident about it. He's like, haha, I found out who you are. Give her a suave kiss. He likes her. <gasps> oh, I knew they would end all happy. I knew they would end all happy like, all right. So now that we know that they get along, and that means Jean can stay out of her, out of her disguise. She'll probably only put it on for work. But for the most part, she can finally be herself at home, which I'm really happy about. And... We can come here and make a silly face at Zenin, and he's the closest thing to family she's had in a long, long time. Uh, but what I wanted to do quickly was, before before we leave, I know we're really excited, I wanted to see who his dad is. His dad is Senior Pollination Technician number three, and apparently that's his mother. Their occupation is a pollinator, so it's like Sims 2, where you have pollinators, um, and they are bright blue. So that's really, really cute. So the hover lamp is on, and it sounds pretty cool. They're really cute together. That thing is loud as what? But we, um, everything is working out. I thought there would be hardcore drama and such, but nothing. So we're going to travel to our store. It is 5 p.m. now, but that's okay. And I will show you guys the lot, so I'll see you guys when we load. Alright guys, so here we are at our boutique, which I am going to call Mallory's. Oh, it's not paused. I'm going to call Mallory's. So it's very, very small. As you can see, there's not too much, but we will definitely be expanding it, and it will grow as we earn some more money. Um, we currently have 263 simoleons here uh, and at the store right now, so not a lot. Um, and... It's a boutique store, and I went ahead and I decorated our mannequins, and they're in the front window, so you can see. So this is it, and we have an everyday outfit and a party outfit on display at the moment, uh, and it will uh, change. We also have this new, this cheap linoleum flooring, and it's all scratched up and, like, old because we're taking that this is, like, a new or not a new, but it's an old store that we're going to be renovating and making clean, and we just quickly put paint on the walls, and we have a small teeny tiny bathroom, 
and we could set the toilet for sale. Uh, but what we're going to do is these are both for sale, and it's 219 simoleons per outfit, which is cray cray. But we're going to open the store. The store is open, and customers are on their way to peruse Mallory's merchandise. And blah, 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 employees. I'm super excited for her. She is going to do so well with this. And so the mannequins, I went ahead and I made an outfit for each uh, category. And so we could change into whatever we want. Um, I'd like to have one per outfit on display uh, eventually. But for now, this is fine. And uh, don't mind my terrible landscaping. It is just minimal landscaping just for this. But what we can also do is we could actually purchase advertising. It's 250 simoleons. But it, we can purchase a short-term web campaign. Web ads provide a large initial spike in foot traffic that trails off near the end. Um, I don't think I want it quite yet because it is day one. And oh my god, is this our first customer? It is. Oh my lord. Greet her. She's taking a selfie of herself. She's a teenager. Ooh. But that's okay. <laughs> dag, dag. I have nothing for you, teening. Ooh, Tining. Rig. <laughs> uh, let's answer her questions. Belarga discuss her shopping preferences. Brighten her Wobertal. day. Uh, ask Warlock. about her price range. Oh. And we're getting perk Rig. points as we go. Uh, I went over this in my I'm a Lover Challenge when we opened our first bookstore. Not but a yeah. Wash Oh, good, good, good. He can't browse anything because it's female clothes. And I do want to keep this, uh, I think I want to keep it a female boutique. But let me know if you want it to be um, a female only boutique, or do you want men, male and female and children? Or uh, what? Eventually, I want it to be like a big department store, and we have like, uh, like a wedding area and an everyday area and a party area and a formal every area and maybe even a shoes area. Although I know you can't have shoes by themselves, but you know. Let's discuss, and we will compliment her outfit. I saw I could do that. That would seem like an appropriate response. Her outfit is pretty cute. She just doesn't have any makeup. Doba Harpin. Uh-huh. <laughs> Shabini. Woon uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Are you going to purchase something for me? Uh, while we're waiting, she's going to build her logic skill. And so is he. And Glenn is going to build his fitness skill. Uh, let's answer some more questions, discuss shopping preferences. What choice, what value I'm ready to buy when you get a chance of ringing me up. So we will come here and we will ring up customer. Wow, she bought this party outfit. Oh, she looks really cute. Really, really cute. So let us dress the mannequin. And let's put on the formal outwear this time. Uh, or the formal wear this time. And just like that. We made 44 simoleons. But it is quite late, so I think we will close for now. We sold one item and we made 44 simoleons. Open for three hours. We need to go home. But yeah, that's the retail store. I'm really, really excited. I think we'll go back... Uh, tomorrow, just because we've been going to work with Jean and Matthew and Glenn so much, and I want a chance with the retail store. So I'm very, very excited to sell some more clothes and make some more money, get another mannequin, and make some more everyday outfits. Yeah. <laughs> and other outfits. <clears throat> but we will get her to go pee, and... Oh, his cry is so cute. Matthew's like, what the hell is this thing? Do the he's so cute, I think. <laughs> he's like, I'm so confused. I don't even think that's an option on... Oh, no, she has it too. Um, it's just not an option for Jean because she likes him. Uh, we're going to bottle feed him because he's hungry. Hungry, hungry baby. And 
Where's Glenn? Oh, he's downstairs playing chess. I don't know why. Uh, but he can come up here. He wants to get to know Jean a bit more. Probably ask her, asking her about her home world and um, the, like, if his baby is safe. Like, he has the paternal instinct kicking in. He does care about Zenon a lot. I mean, he gave birth to him. So he cares. He's like, is it, is it okay for my son? Right now. Um, and we can hug her. But Miss Jean is doing well. She's gonna go to bed because she has a long, long day tomorrow. Uh, Matthew's going to sleep downstairs. Jean and Glenn will talk for a little bit more because uh, he wants to. He wants to learn. Uh, learn some things for about his son. Uh, we've already discussed human food. We'll tell a funny story, talk about art, reveal a brilliant invention. There we go, we are friends now, but she's gonna eat and then go to bed and he's gonna go to bed as well. And, yes, we could drink this milk as well. Maybe transform this orange juice into something, I don't know. Oh, God, can we free- extinguish this freezeway! Oh my god, she's on fire. Oh my god. Jean! God damn it, Jean, what? What just happened? I don't even know. I don't even know what just happened. But Matthew is going to clean the floor and throw that away and eat these scrambled eggs. Uh. Mallory, you can come back to sleep. My dear. I just woke everyone up and made such a big deal. He wants to get married? He wants to get married to Mallory? Oh my goodness, Glenn! He's feeling he wants a wifey, he wants a mother to his son, he's, oh! Okay, go eat. That is so freaking sweet. Oh my goodness. Okay, you can, you can pee. No more transforming orange juice. <laughs> and then Matthew, you can go to bed too. It is one in the morning, it is pretty crazy. It is pretty cray cray right now. <sighs> Glenn, go pee. Eat these scrambled eggs. Take a shower. My goodness. Okay. Uh, breastfeed him. I don't know why. Make a silly face and rock him. Okay, Matthew has work in an hour. He's gonna run upstairs and take a quick shower and eat some cereal. And Jean is going to have work in a little bit too. Glenn has the day off, so this is good. He can stay here with the baby. But Miss Jean will wake up and eat some... Um, we're gonna serve some scrambled eggs. We're gonna send him alone, and so he will go to a work. Glenn, can you clean this floor? Ooh, so here is the cert birth certificate I just remembered. Here is the birth certificate for Mr. <gasps> Zenon. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Classified top secret. This document records the birth of a child, a child of strange origins, maybe not from this world, in a functional frame. The certificate shows the date, place, and doctor that delivered the child. That is super cool. That is really super cool. It is very neat looking. Yeah, Clean this floor, please. Very good. Okay. So he's off to work, and Mallory is making scrambled eggs because she's a good wifey. Jean should be waking up and getting ready for work, actually, right now. We're going to put on her disguise so that she uh, doesn't freak out her coworkers. So that'll do it. Back in her uh, 
her outfit. But uh, Mallory is going to eat her food. Grab a serving. Oh, yes. Glenn will eat too. Jean could grab a serving as well. And we'll eat and chat. The eggs and bacon and toast look mighty delicious, if I do say so myself. But he wants to propose to her. He'll express his admiration. Inside joke. Uh, heartfelt compliment. And then we're going to uh, take a shower. And get ready to go. Change his dirty diaper and feed him. Send alone by Jean. Have fun at work. And now we are going to travel. And we're going to go to the retail store and have a full day of selling clothes. So I'll see you guys when we load. Alrighty, so here we are and we're going to open. And, yeah, people should be coming soon. And we are at 25% markup, so we're pretty okay for now. But we can do financial report. Uh, oh, it's only for the day, and that's already down here. So, whatever. So we're open for one hour so far. I think I want to quickly get uh, a stereo or something for in here. put it just on the wall here and uh, turn on pop music yes so here is who is this Luna Yates let us greet the customer Oh. <laughs> oh, and let's ask her about her price range discuss shopping and Heartfelt compliment. She looks a little upset. Oh, she's embarrassed. So we'll brighten her day. Can answer any questions. Oh, and we have 50 perk points. We can purchase this, which I don't know what this does, but we're going to get it. And now it's in our inventory. And we can place it on the wall. Boom, just like that. Already some stuff. Alright, are you guys going to buy stuff or what? No fighting, my goodness. Oh, I guess she's not buying anything. Rude. Hmm. <laughs> Let's come, uh, Doba touch her and stuff. Do, uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, answer any questions. <laughs> Child, you cannot purchase anything. <laughs> and Teening, you cannot purchase anything either. How long have we been open for? Two hours and haven't made a sale yet. Tell a dramatic story. Discuss shopping preferences. Mm, get to know. Enthuse about store. Apparently that's new. Suggest options. Uh, offer information. What does that do? Oh, she's getting really good about this. Ooh, endorse products. What choice, what value? I'm ready to buy. Okay, we're going to delete all our notifications and ring her up. Very awesome, very cool, very awesome, very cool. Look at her, she looks fabulous. We're going to dress the mannequin up in the everyday outfit again. 
and boom, making some money. Uh, except we only have these guys and we've been open for four hours already and no other customers. I'm sad. Mallory's kind of sad too. She's like, where is everyone? Where is everyone? Maybe we will create a new outfit. A new everyday outfit to add to our repertoire. And we'll do it together very quickly. Um, so we're going to add. And I'm kind of going through... <laughs> Um, through, because I don't quite know what I, what I want them to wear. Maybe I'll do a full outfit, uh, every day. I'll do this. Oh, I love mint green. Uh, some wedges. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, and some accessories. Mm. Oh. Oh, yes, that. Oh, and this bracelet. Oh, yes. Some rings. Uh-huh. And do we want tights? I don't know. No. No, we don't. No, we don't. That's a cute outfit. Boom. Another outfit. Just like that. Mallory is, oh yeah, that is really, really cute. Oh, she's back. Look at her. She's like, I love this store so much. Oh, we are Glenn. Don't want to be Glenn. That's, um, uh, we're all just jamming. Discuss shopping preferences. Answer questions. Ask about price range. I know you two can't buy anything, so I don't know why you're here to do that. Answer some more questions. And discuss shopping preferences. Ooh, have 12 friends. Well, we can greet him. Because we need to have 12 friends and achieve level 6 charisma skill for her aspiration as well. A little deep conversation and suggest options and enthuse about store and offer information. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Ring her up and then I think we'll have to close the store. Oh, she bought this outfit! Oh, she looks super cute! Alrighty. So we're going to close the store, and we made 263 simoleons today. That's pretty awesome. And we're going to just restock that outfit. And, and, yeah. And then that'll be that. So we're going to go ahead and head home. We actually have perk points. You can get this provocative pedestal. Unlocks a new pedestal object to display various items for sale on. Check the retail items section of build mode. Let's get it. I want to go through and get everything. So we'll go in here and the retail items. Is that this one? Big glass pedestal? Yep, and we just bought it for a hundred simoleons, but there's no space for it. I don't know where to put it. But we'll leave it in here. It sells for 240 simoleons. We'll just leave it in here for now. And when we come back, 
it will uh, be there. So yeah, the retail store is really, really awesome. I can't wait to keep expanding with it and going with it and everything. So yeah, very, very much looking forward to it. But let me know, yeah, um, should we have like, um, I know for sure I want to have like a little girl section, but do we want to have men too? Uh, or just keep it strictly female. Let me know in the comment section down below what you would like. But I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. So if you guys are enjoying the series, please do give it a fat thumbs up and subscribe for more videos as I put them out fairly regularly. And uh, I will see you guys. We're going to change into our everyday. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.